Well, hi, everybody. It's that gratitude guy, David George Brooke, with another guest on this special guest interview podcast regarding the pandemic. And today I have one of my close friends I've known a number of years now, very talented young lady, Miss Jody Lentz. Jody, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, David. It's my pleasure to be here today with you. Thanks. You bet. So my whole goal here has been to do videos and sort of podcasts or interviews to maybe help other people with some ideas that people have around what's going on and um, maybe something they hadn't thought of. So my first question is, is what is your best coping mechanism uh, during this pandemic? Boy, I think every day I wake up, I try to be the most positive that I can be that day. Uh, we all hear that positive uh, attitude, positive outlook, is a little bit contagious. There's so much negative going on in the news that it's my goal every day to be positive. So, so much, uh, much of life right now is working from home and, and many of us learning Zoom or webinars or different things. And, you know, I, I've heard so many people say that, um, and I heard it the other day, that we say that people are now working from home. You know, but the reality is, is that people are home in the middle of a crisis and trying to work. Mm. So everyone deals with it differently. And my attitude every day and what helps me is just be as positive as I can be and reach out to people as much as I can. So that's good. That's good. And I think certainly these are uncertain times. Do you find, well, what do you find you're most grateful for right now? It might be the rest of the time too, but especially now during this pandemic, what do you think you're the most grateful for? I think I'm most grateful for, of course, for every day in my life, whether it's pandemic or not, but especially now I'm really grateful for my health and mm -hmm. I enjoy walking every day. So getting some fresh air and it's made me more aware of my environment, of the uh, nature. I, I look at the plants differently. I hear the birds in a different way, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm grateful for my health. I'm also grateful that I have all of my family around me. And they are all safe and, and healthy, all my kids, my grandkids. And I'm really grateful for uh, looking at things like Zoom or, or FaceTime because we do a lot of FaceTiming and right. chat with the grandkids each night. So very grateful for that. And I have to mention that I'm really grateful for all the people on the front line. I think mm -hmm. about the grocery store workers. I think about the nurses and the doctors and the amount of gratitude that I feel for them for being in that position and making the best of, of what they can do for people in such a tragic way, you know, to either lose their life or, or dealing with their family. So I'm gr very grateful for that. Great. Good answer. So you're somebody who keeps very busy, has a lot, juggles a lot of balls, has got a lot on the go, on the go all the time. What would you suggest as far as a tip or a thought or an idea for somebody of, of things to do while they're kind of housebound, if you will? Boy, I think every day is just a gift and you have to look at it that way. Uh, I, I know that the news is on all day, every day. I, I very rarely tune into it. I get my, my catch up at, in the evening. But I think for people, if they can just stay connected, if they can stay grounded, if they could realize we're going to come out of this and we will probably come out better and stronger for experiencing such a life-changing event and a historic event in many ways. And, you know, just being grateful for the things that you have and not worrying about all the uh, negative things in the world and all of the possessions that people have. When you realize what you take for granted, whether it's going out to dinner or, you know, going shopping and buying new things and traveling the world, and we can't do that right now, it helps bring you back and bring your priorities into perspective. So I guess my tip for people is make the best of what we have. Um, I, I have to elaborate a little bit. A few years back, actually several years ago, I was at a seminar and the speaker was a guy named John Gordon and he wrote a book called The Energy Bus. And one of the, the things that he, he did to the crowd when he first opened up was, it was a large crowd. Everybody stand up, walk around this room and look at people like you're completely oblivious that they even exist. You're not interested in anything that they have or have to say or, or what they look like. And it was really interesting, just this weird, ho-hum, very negative environment. 
and then he had us stop and he said now these are your best long lifelong friends that you've had in your your life and you haven't seen them in years and years so now i want you to do that same exercise and the energy that was in the room and the amount of um attitude change that that created so it makes me realize that if we can all stay positive stay connected stay grounded um and they always say that negativity is is one of your worst enemies so stay positive during this thing and and that'll keep you healthier good good input good input mm -hmm. so last question do you have sort of like either a quote or a philosophy or sort of a something that is a mantra that kind of runs through your mind through something like this or just even in general which kind of typifies maybe your mindset or something you kind of fall back on uh throughout a tough through a tough time like this well there's a, a couple i i am a big quote fan you know i look at quotes all the time and there was one by dalai lama and it is choose to be optimistic because it just mm -hmm. feels better and it's so true it's that and then the other thing that i always think about is just be the best you that you can be so try to practice those every day uh, in a meditation every so often i i love to meditate and there are these five minute meditation videos that i get online and it's quick it's painless it's it kind of clears your head and gets you prepared for the day and one of the things that's really reminded me especially in this whole pandemic is it, it'll always tell you if there's a message it'll say make sure you breathe and feel your breath and blah, 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 whatever the you know woo, woo might be in the the message but it makes you realize how grateful you are that you can breathe because it's right. a terrible time so i say be, be the best you can be that's my my quote that's interesting that's kind of ironic because the covid 19 is all about respiratory in the lungs and speaking and breathing and things which makes sense but no, it's interesting you mentioned choose to be optimistic. And, and when I think about choosing, the word that I use around that too is it's a choice. Every day we have a choice to be optimistic or pessimistic, left side of the bed, right side of the bed, up, down, left, right, black, red, whatever it might be, it's a choice. And you'll come across people that say, you don't, you don't understand I'm having a tough time, but it is really a choice and you get to decide. So good stuff. Well, thank you so much for that. Those were tremendous tips. I so appreciate it. Thank you, David. It's always fun to, to do different things with you. And I just have to throw this um, kudos to you because writing in a gratitude journal, when you talk about gratitude, you got me started on that years ago. Mm -hmm. And that's a hugely powerful tool. Oh, I think thank being you. grateful and gratitude is one of the most powerful tips that you can use in any event. That's, that's you know, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, gratitude is hugely important to, for everyone to remember. Thank you. That's a great advertisement for that. Thank you. I always tell people, somebody said, what's something in your talks? And I said, look, if I get through to one person on the talk, that's fine with me. So anyway, but thank you so much. Thank you, Jody. I really appreciate it. Thank you, David. You Have bet. a great day. Stay healthy. You too.